to all our friends in the media, good morning po. I'm honored to be here before you, our media partners, albeit in virtual presence. It used to be that the festive airings loud and true whenever the Yultad season approaches. Today, all is a lot quieter for humanity's sake in preserving lives and maintaining our health. Sacrifice is festive rituals. It is not, however, stand still for joy and happiness for as long as we have our families, we could have all the happiness in the world. In today's current situation, Baguio has once again held the limelight as a model city for discipline and community orderliness amid quarantine protocols. Here as media partners, we come in and share to our kababayans our best practices. At the onset of the Christmas season, we continue to exercise his diligence and duty. With this, I have great faith and confidence with the city and the Baguio people. The media, we hold the peculiar influence over our people and constituents, for we are the messengers connecting them to the global context. Recently, a study was made which determined the roles of mass media and public health communications during the pandemic. The findings of this study have been twofold. On the one hand, media coverage of the coronavirus pandemic induced fear and caused psychological stress. This media portrayal actually led to the dissemination of scientific cures and unverified medication endorsed by politicians and fake doctors which had proved harmful. On the other hand, on the better practices of the media, it was undeniable that they played a worldwide role in COVID tracking and updates. In turn, the media allowed for timely intervention which enabled the rapid and widespread reach of public health communications. In that progression, the media has the crucial role in discerning what to broadcast to our dear public. It was at this point where the world saw an upward trend for the promotion of health and hygiene practices by adopting safe health practices. The media reinforced these preventive measures on a daily basis through a much needed redundant cautioning. This study concluded that mass media had an imperative role in today's world, the new normal, as we now call it, and it can provide a unified platform for all public health communications, comprehensive healthcare education guidelines, and robust social distancing strategies while still maintaining social connections. In essence, the role of the media and public health communication is an essential tool for combating COVID-19 and future outbreaks. While the rampaging COVID-19 crisis reminds us of our shared fragility, it also demonstrates how everything and everyone is truly connected and how the media are in the middle of it. This is a great responsibility. It is my belief that we in the profession of arms and the media profession share that magnify the accountability to duties we render to the public. In celebration of the festivities of our Pasco, we also pray and act towards one universal goal at the moment, eradicating the pandemic in all communities. Personally, it warms my heart that we play such a crucial role in establishing ourselves as one human family standing together to build a better future, a COVID-free future. Here on to our brethren in the media industry, you always have our gratitude. May the little gifts we have handed out contribute to the festive celebrations we would have for ourselves and our families in a way, be it celebrations for Notre Bena or for the other gatherings with your loved ones. May these gifts bless your celebrations. Lastly, may we continue fostering connections among ourselves and maintain good relations with the people. Together, let us build the nation Mabuhay po tayong lahat. A very Merry Christmas one and all. Always be safe. And magandang umaga po.